my name is Marion. I'm from the blog Miss Mustard Seed, and I am here with another dresser that is going to be painted. This one had a very shiny finish on it. Um, looked like one that maybe was redone. It just had that 80s feel about it, you know, that very orange, shiny oak, <laughs> um, which is not my favorite thing. I love oak. I don't like it when it has a really glossy polyurethane on it and when it has really that polyurethane's really yellowed and it's made the whole tone of the wood just orange. It looks like an orange piece of furniture. So I've sanded it um, off, at least, I didn't remove all of the finish, that's not what the sanding is about. It's about providing a tooth for the paint to really grab onto. Um, especially milk paint really needs that. This only took me about maybe 10 minutes just to run an orbital sander over it. I used 60 grit paper. I'm going to be painting this piece in two different colors. And the reason for that is it'll give a lot of depth when I go back in distress. So I'm using um, two different greens and the difference is very subtle. I'm using Luckett's Green, which is a little bit brighter and more saturated um, for the base coat. And then on top, I'm going to use Luckett's Green, which is a very, I'm sorry, Luckett's Green on the bottom, Layla's Mint on the top, which Layla's Mint is a really soft, um, a minty green. It's not quite as blue as some of the minty greens out there, but it's just a very soft kind of whisper of a color. So I'm gonna pair these two together and it will end up giving the finish a bit more depth. I'm not gonna do any kind of a resist technique between the two. I'm just gonna let the distressing show the difference in the colors. And I love doing that technique by using two different colors that are in the same family and are only, only have kind of subtle differences to them. I think that look is really effective. So I'm gonna get going. I've got my Luckett's Green all mixed up and I'm just going to brush it on with my favorite two and a half inch angled sash brush. And um, I've got the paint already all mixed up. And if you aren't sure how to mix milk paint, you can just um, check out one of my tutorials on mixing milk paint. I have several out there. And um, I'm gonna get the 